hello everyone so now next is data transfer and manipulation so the computer instruction can be classified into three categories that is data transfer instruction data manipulation instruction and program control instruction so data transfer instruction that calls transfer of data from one location to another without changing the binary information content means it can it just uh, transfer your data from one location to another right it will not change the data the second is data manipulation instruction so it will perform some operation right arithmetic logical shift operation on your data means your data will be changed that is data manipulation instruction then third is program control instruction so it provides the decision making capabilities and change the path taken by the program when executed in the computer so simple example for data transfer your load store these are the data transfer instruction data manipulation instruction add subtract shift right or left these are the data manipulation instruction control instruction jump on zero jump if not equal to zero jump if carry they are the program control instruction so these are the <coughs> data transfer and manipulation instruction so i have given the three classification that is data transfer instruction manipulation and control instruction now let's see the data transfer instruction <coughs> so it moved data from one place in the computer to another without changing the data content and the most of the transfer are between memory and processor register processor register and input output and processor register themselves so either we are getting the data from memory to register register to memory then processor registers to any io right or processor registers themselves means interprocess registers mm. then these are the some of the data transfer instruction right let's see each instruction mm -hmm. these are the name and the mnemonic used in assembly level language so load a transfer from memory to process register usually an accumulator so when you write load and specify something it will load that into your registers okay then transfer your store instruction so it will generally transfer your data from processor register to memory location okay that is a store operation uh, store instruction then move instruction it transfer from one register to another right registers and memory or between two memory words right to move what it can do it can transform from one register to another register or one register to memory or between memory words right it will move <laughs> exchange it swaps the information between two registers or a register and a memory word <clears throat> then your input output it transfer data among processor registers and input or output terminal right so maybe it get the data from your input terminal to your register or from register to output pull and pop it transfer data between processor registers and a memory stack so when you push it the data from register will be pushed on top of the stack when you pop it the data from top of the stack will be popped out right so all this instruction all this instruction will not change your data it will just move your data from one location to another location right <clears throat> so these are the data transfer instruction now next is data manipulation instruction so it perform operation on data and provide the computational cap capabilities for the computers and it is divided into three basic types that is arithmetic instruction 
logical and bit manipulation instruction and shift instruction mm. now arithmetic instruction so this shows the arithmetic instruction right so your alu can perform arithmetic logic or shift operation so let's first see the arithmetic instruction so these are the name and mnemonics for it right and some of the mnemonics you have used mm. so increment decrement add sub multiply division add with carry subtract with borrow negate right use complement so when you use it it will change the data means it will perform some computational operation right so these are the arithmetic instructions then logical and bit manipulation instruction so logical instruction perform binary operation on string of bits stored in registers right and they are useful for manipulating individual bits or a group of bits that represent binary coded information right it can either manipulate individual bit or group of bits and it is possible to change bit value to clear a group of bits or to insert a new bit values into operands stored in registers or memory words right and the examples are this so clear complement and or exclusive or clear carry set carry complement carry enable interrupt disable interrupt these are the some of the examples of induction that is a uh, bit manipulation or logical right so when you clear means it will make all zeros when you complement so it will change 1 to 0 or 0 to 1 and it can be for all bits or individual bits or operation exclusive or clear carry right so carry flag you want to uh, clear or set then enable interrupt and disable interrupt uh, so these are the some of the instruction and next is so there are three bit manipulation operation possible you can be you can clear it to zero you can clear it to one or set to one and we can be complemented means zero can be one one can be zero when you set it one when you clear zero complement with whatever value you have you will reverse it okay so how to do that so when you want to clear selected bits when you want to clear selected bits what you need to do you need to end it with a zero right you need to end it with zero because when you end with zero it will produce zero so x and zero result is zero right so whatever value you have in x the result will be zero only right so sometimes that is called a mask right is also called a mask so n instruction is also called a mask this is called a masking process because it masks or inserts zeros in a selected portion of an operand right so whenever you want to insert zero what you can do you can use zero at that particular position right at that position you can insert zero okay so suppose zero uh, one one zero now I want to insert zero here. So what I will do? One one zero one. Right? And if I perform and operation between this, then what it will give zero and one. One uh zero and one. That is zero one and zero. Zero one and one. One zero and one zero you can see 0 1 1 0 I, I want to insert 0 so now I have inserted 0 here 0 1 0 0 so this is called masking right and n instruction is also called a mask because of this now set selected bits so to set selected bits what you need to do instead of n you need to use or with 1 because it will produce 1 so whenever you have some value if you are with one always you will get one whatever value you have in x 
right so selectively set bits of an operand by ordering it with another operand with ones in the bit position that must be set to one and complement so for complement you need to xor with one right so it will complement your bit right so x xor that is exclusive or one so what it will do? x into y dash this is y is one so zero or x dash into one right so this is zero or x dash or x complement into one that is x complement so result is x complement right so we have x xor with one that result is x complement right so xor is used for complement or with one that is used to set a bit and to clear a bit and with zero this is called a mask right <clears throat> then next is shift instruction right so uh, there are three types of shift possible right logical shift arithmetic shift and rotate kind of shift right and with all three two possibilities left or right logical right shift logical left shift arithmetic left shift arithmetic right shift rotate left rotate right right so these are the name m mnemonics for it okay so logical shift right shr shl arithmetic add a right then rotate right rotate left and rotate right with carry rotate left with or through carry so in logical in logical shift what happens suppose you have a three bit uh, four bit here zero zero one zero so when you shift right assume that it's shift right bit will be moved like this uh, four bits so zero zero one the zero will be discarded last bit and here here you will insert zero you will insert zero in logical shift in logical shift so whatever position is empty you will insert zero but in arithmetic shift but in arithmetic shift what will do if this is zero zero one zero and if you perform arithmetic uh arithmetic left uh, sorry this is right shift and if you perform arithmetic right shift then same thing you will get same thing you will get right but now i assume instead of this my value is one zero one zero right and i want to perform arithmetic right shift so in that case one will be here zero will be here one will be here right now at this empty space what will the value in logical shift it inserts zero but here it will preserve your carry that is uh preserve your sign okay so whatever bits you have here at the previous one that will be preserved here if it is zero it is zero if it is one it, this is one so you have seen this in booth multiplication algorithm right we were doing arithmetic right shift right and we were preserving the carry but when you performed left shift in logical and in arithmetic so arithmetic left shift is same as logical left shift right because you need to insert zero at the end there is no carry right in least significant bit there is no uh, sign sign bit you can say not carry sign bit so in both the case we will insert zero so the arithmetic left shift is same as logical left shift so in some of the computers they provide only one okay and in rotate so what will happen <clears throat> suppose this is the case one zero one zero so if i say rotate right rotate right 
so one zero one now this will be rotated with zero and zero will be here okay so this is rotate right rotate left means like this zero one zero and one will be at this position uh sorry one one will be at this position so this is rotate uh left this is rotate left this is rotate right now rotate right through carry right rotate right through carry means what so we have a carry here so while we are rotating we will consider this carry suppose now carry is one so when you rotate what you will do you will move this carry at the most significant bit which is empty when you rotate it right so one zero one zero is space one zero one right and the carry will be empty uh, carry is one so one will be here so this is rotate through carry here last wheel will not come but your carry will come so this is through carry right <clears throat> so this is rotate right through carry now <clears throat> the possible instruction code format of a shift instruction is divided in five fields operation code register type then rl and count so how many bits you want to uh, rotate so right now we are moving one bit so total how many shift you want so that you can mention here in count operation means <clears throat> which operation you want to perform your operation code here then reg is a register address that specifies the location of the operand means on which you want to perform the shift operation and type this is a two bit field specifying the four different types of shift right you can see this logical shift arithmetic shift rotate and rotate through carry okay and rl is the one bit field specifying shift right or left so rl will specify it's a right or left mm, and count is a k bit field and specifying up to 2 raised to k minus 1 shift operation okay mm, so this is about a shift operation thank you